Right, it's seven slides with an intro and a... That's okay. Whenever you're ready. All right. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Oren Kenner, and I'm here to present to you Sports Picker, your daily dose of bragging rights. So let's start with the problem. How many here picked March Madness brackets? Two out of three. That's, that's how it usually is. <laughs> just, just for some background, 5.9 million brackets alone were picked on ESPN's Tournament Challenge. This is only one of the areas where people can pick brackets, so my guesstimation is that around 20 to 30 million brackets were picked in total. Let's talk about why we pick these brackets. People love social competition. People set up groups online, and some do it for money, some do it for fun. A lot of people do it for bragging rights. Bragging rights is a big deal. You can talk trash to your friends if you prove you're better at picking than them. Proving sports knowledge. You have a lot of friends out there that say they watch ESPN every day and think they know more than you about sports. So, our goal, we want to harness that energy from March. March is a great month. Everyone goes online, sees how they do. Offices are, you know, bustling with people talking trash and all that. So our solution, we provide Sports Picker. And I, it's going to start as an iPhone application, and it'll be social sports picking game. Every day, every day, users will see daily sports. Uh, as you can see, here's a sample of what the sports would look like for Saturday, uh, April 21st. Uh, available that day would have been NBA basketball, MLB baseball, MLS soccer, and then future picks would be sports that happen once a week, such as NFL football or college football. Uh, this application has a global appeal, such as countries like Ireland, because we will provide the large sports there, including Gaelic football, Irish hurling, and rugby, as well as international soccer, where people can suggest that Ireland would win the game. So what, what users do? Let's say they touch NBA basketball. Up would pop this screen. Uh, sports has created a unique scoring system that allows users to pick the winner of every game. Each team is assigned a point value based on that team's chance of winning the game. Sports Picker created this scoring system to allow users to have a sort of strategy when picking who wins the game. If you pick an underdog, you'll be rewarded with more points than you would be with a favorite. This scoring system is based off the odds from the lines in Vegas. So after you make your picks, you check back the next day and you click down on leaderboard. Leaderboard will show you where you stand within your friend group within the total global leaderboard, and without, within the individual groups that you choose to join. You could have an MSC group where we could all see how we did every day. Also, the groups will have full social communication, including a group wall where you can talk trash about your picks, and also has the benefit of possibly being a new way for people to gamble on sports. We will not condone that, but it does offer a unique situation where people can compete. So let's talk about the industry. The iPhone industry, uh, it came out last week that Apple has now sold over 100 million iPhones worldwide. So that's a huge amount of iPhones that we could reach. The application industry started as a $2.2 billion industry in 2010 and is expected to grow to a $38 billion industry by 2015. And finally, social gaming industry, where we fall. In 2010, it was a 1.6 billion dollar industry and that number is expected to grow exponentially to 7 billion dollar industry by 2015. So let's go over our competition. The main competition on the iPhone is ESPN's Street for the Cash. Street for the Cash is a game similar to Sports Picker in that users log on every day and see some of the games available along with some kind of random uh, I guess prop bets that users can make. Uh, it's very limited in the fact that users make one selection at a time. They make that selection, and then they wait till that game ends, and they see how they did. The goal of the game is to get your streak up to 25 in a row. If you get your streak over 25, you qualify for the million dollar prize. Um, in the past year, I think seven people have gotten over 25 game streaks, and they all get brought to Bristol, Connecticut, where ESPN's headquarters are, and they have a showdown where they pick the winners of games until one person is left, and they're the million dollar winner. 
Also, Crank. Crank is a social trivia game similar to Jeopardy um, in the fact that you compete against other people on a quiz game. Uh, it, you're limited to one game per day with 15 questions. You can add friends in a similar way you can add friends on Sports Picker and track them. Sports Picker plans on using a lot of the mechanics found in Crank. And then you have the two biggies. You got Angry Birds and Doodle Jump. These are two of the most popular applications on the iPhone right now. And one of the toughest things Sports Picker has to do is get users away from these to try our application. But we do believe we offer enough of a differentiator to come back and leave these applications and add Sports Picker to their daily list of applications. So in summary, Sports Picker is offering a chance to enter an exponentially growing industry with no direct competitors. There's low entry costs, and we also have a first mover advantage. Uh, upon success on the iPhone, we have a large scale growth strategy, which will happen fast if users pick up Sports Picker. Uh, we plan on adding applications for the Android, the Windows Mobile, and eventually Facebook, which has over 600 million users right now. So our equity offer to you. We are offering 10% of the company for $100,000. The $100,000 will fuel the growth for the first year, and hopefully revenue coming in will be able to support the company from there on out. Any questions? Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Any questions, who picked the name? I don't like it. Uh, I kind of came up with that. I searched sure. for what was out there. And did you, it's so simple. Did you have your logo direct. generator? Uh, I did. People? Logo Same thing tournament. Again. Yep. Again, yeah, I came out with cool. a great logo. Yes, it is good. It's really yeah. amazing what they can do. And uh, I messed around on Photoshop a little. Tinkered with these to put to all create. the right things yeah. in. Yeah, for sure. But yes, this is actually what I'm doing. And I think, yeah, I think that's a... I, I, you know, boy, it can become very addictive. <laughs> I like right? it, and I don't even like sports. Sit there all day long, and uh, just, yes, just uh, people love competing mm -hmm. against each sure. other. And um, I think this sort of is the, the future of where everything's going is mobile and mm -hmm. socially. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. absolutely. So um, yeah, actually, I'm pitching this next week when, and I have a contract with one developer that is ready to start as soon as I get the funding. Yeah. So it's really not that expensive to enter this market, and the potential is just huge. Sure. It's so little to get in, right? And yeah. You hit the right button. Yeah. Are you just pulling your odds from Vegas? Directly from a live XML feed from uh, Vegas, and uh, it's, it's, I think it's liveodds.com, mm. and then I've created an algorithm that does this scoring system. Um, sample of the way it would work is on a football game, if the spread was ten and a half or higher, that would be uh, the favorite would be a one seed and the underdog a six seed. If the spread was six and a half to ten and a half, then that's the two seed and the five seed, and anything closer than six and a half is a three and a four. So it's sort of it's a strategy on how you pick your games, and you pick every game, and then you track it socially and create groups. And my ultimate hope is that uh, I get this out midway through the summer. I can generate enough interest based on what's going on over the summer and then get people there for football, football season. Football, yeah. And uh, I think uh, the, NFL. the NFL is a potential huge market because the only way people gamble on the NFL right now is through fantasy sports yeah. as well as a suicide pool, which is you pay to enter with a ton of people and you pick one team each week who's going to win and you can't pick them again for the rest of the year. So whoever's left after your team, you know, if your team loses, then you're out of the pool. Mm -hmm. So this is a way to compete every day on every game. You pick your upsets and you get them right, you jump right back to the top of the leaderboard. Right. So it's, uh, it's a, I think, a, a potential new way for people to gamble. That's pretty cool. Cool. But there's no, there's no dollar. No, no, not through me. Trading, right. Uh, but it's sure. the same way ESPN offers the March Madness yeah. Challenge. Oh, sure. It's just right. a, it's a means to track it. So... I was just thinking, I mean, but can you imagine if you could legally? Oh, yes. That would be nice. <laughs> what about a big sports star to That's what I've been looking for, with. actually. But um, it's, it's so close to gambling, I don't know many people are willing to give their name up to associate themselves with it. I, my family actually has a few connections within the sports industry, but I'm not sure if I want to uh, go it's there. Too. Mm. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Bruce Pearl is a family friend of mine right. who just got caught in right. a scandal at, at, at 
Tennessee, so I don't know if he would want to throw his name on a sports mm. picking application. Right. Right. That's true. Um, but I do believe that with the right marketing strategy, I can reach my target market, and then once I get to them and people see the benefits of it, they're willing to go out and tell their friends because they want to compete. Sure. Right. Once they start feeling it, they yeah, can like, brag. They've got some brain. They prove they're good at it for a day or two, yeah. and they tell their friend, like, hey, you make your sports picker fix today. And that's right. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. that's that crank application was kind of what got me onto this was uh, I had a friend of mine who loved that crank application. He's like, download it and play it. So now I play it every day, and I have about five or six friends on there that I see how I do against them. Mm -hmm. But it's not something that I'm so great at because it's random trivia. But this is like, I think I know sports. Right, right. So I think I could do pretty well in this. But I think it's just a new way to compete and fun and different. I have one comment. Are you really giving this exact pitch you said next week? Uh, I mean, not with the Ireland part, but I right, haven't done right. that. You talked a lot about that ESPN game. Ireland talks quite so much about that. Okay. Because they started just, sounding pretty good. Like, yeah. I get a chance to win a million dollars, and all of a sudden I'm forgetting sports <laughs> picker. <laughs> the only thing is, I, I love picking sports, and I've tried the streak for the cash, and it just doesn't get me because I have to well, look through Well, say that, maybe, in your presentation, yeah, I because I didn't feel the downside. Part. I only felt like, yeah. hey, yeah, why not do that? Maybe okay, I think the limitation of dollars. Um, one game at a time, is it turns me off from it, because this, I get to pick all the games say that. once a day, and then Because you made I'm them sound pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will uh, Just I will my hone that in. Thought. But, um, yeah, overall, this application, there's really nothing out there similar to it. Mm -hmm. so. That's very cool. It will be soon, I bet, right? <laughs> as soon as it uh, takes off. That's yeah. my whole plan is yeah. to... Uh, I talked to Dan Rua this week, actually. Yeah. He really loved the idea. He said when you're ready for the second round of funding, like the... Two to four million dollars. Come to talk to him. When he said that to me, he was <laughs> kind of blown away. Right. But he said all I need to provide him is with uh, one month of solid, uh, solid usage. Right. Data. That's right. And so you want us to play? You guys got to play. I'll, I'll send an email. <laughs> I'm expecting an email sent to the whole business school to play. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, my goal is eight weeks from next week to have it launched. Um, and don't want to wait. And you're going to go for all platforms right off the bat? I'm starting with iPhone only, and then uh, Dan told me your minimum viable product is the best way to get it out there. So I think the iPhone, with the popularity and the commercials are on sure. every day now, um, to go there, see how I do on the iPhone. If I do you know, hit it big right away, then immediately start producing the Android, the Windows Sweet. Mobile, and the Facebook. Got it. So you have no partners in this? Uh, Eric Spritz is helping me out with it. He's coming in next, actually. He's not presenting this, but um, he's going to be helping me out, and I have talked to Dara Bogdanoff mm -hmm. about possibly helping me out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really sure like, how I'm going to need the help, yeah. but I know that once I start getting people coming, I'm going to need just more manpower on it. Yeah, for sure. So, but, um, but yeah, this was my culmination, I guess, of the whole MSC program, and I think... Uh, from the business plan I put together for this, it's just, it it made this program, I guess, complete for me. Because coming into this year, I never would have been able to do anything like this. And, uh, you know, hearing ideas all year, evaluating businesses, this is what I think. And I think um, 